Start date 23 10 31 entry 3 Magic the Gathering Magic the Gathering has been around almost as long as I have. It's like the birth year is 1993. I'm a 1992er. So I was aware of it. I remember my dad buying me some magic cards when I was little. And I remember trying to learn it and just being too impatient. The youth brain deciding, no, I don't have time to learn this right now. I'm going to go play Counter-Strike or World of Warcraft or Call of Duty, whatever it was. Just something that was more instant gratification and more exciting to the eyes, if you will. Because obviously the software available back then that sort of simulated the game was not breathtaking visuals. You could argue that's still the case even with MTG Arena, for example. But playing with the cards physically feels really good. And now, Wizards of the Coast, I don't know how long they've had it for, but they have this spell table software where you can just basically play with people anywhere. It doesn't matter how far away you live, as long as you've got the time to play together, you join a session, you set up a, your webcam to face your battlefield, and you just play. You can click on the cards, it shows you the visuals, but even if the visuals don't work, there's a search field for all the cards in the database. Absolutely wild. I love it. So I really wanna lean into more magic as my way to kind of unwind, relax, and have fun, because I think it also engages my brain in a way that is healthy, because there's a lot of learning of patterns and metas and uh, I, I guess just keeps my brain engaged in terms of reading and reacting to things and encountering problems and solving problems in interesting ways. I think that's going to be better than a lot of the games that I have been playing. It's not to say that I won't make time to play games ever anymore, but I do feel like in the last couple months that I've been streaming, it feels like it's boring to watch me play a game that's uh, incredibly engaging where I just don't have the opportunity to look at chat because I'm trying to be performant, I guess. And I'm not some MLG pro gamer, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense to do that. It makes a lot more sense to just do things that I like to do that also accommodate what I'm trying to do, engage with my community and ha have fun with things that I think are more gratifying than just beating some shooter, winning a match in Counter-Strike or something. I've already uninstalled Counter-Strike because I don't really care to play it. I don't play Overwatch anymore. Maybe it's just a, a sign that I'm getting old. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoy Magic the Gathering more and more because when I was first introduced to it, People were extremely competitive in kind of my play group. So here I am showing up with this low power deck. Two turns in, the game's already over because they've done some like infinite loop recursive, like unlimited turns play that I don't understand. But even if I did understand it, I'm like, this is a dumb way to play. Like it kind of undermines the plethora of cards available, the opportunity to like, really enjoy a game and see some kind of random outcome. It's just very short games and highly predictable because you know what the other person is trying to do always and they've made it very consistent. So, you know, I'm at, I'm at the right level of magic where I get to enjoy a lot of it now. So I'm really glad I brought my cards with me from Canada because, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to the next pre-release uh, at a local game shop. It's going to be super fun. And uh, yeah, I, I think a lot of people can relate to magic. And if they can't relate to magic, they might even just get interested in it by watching, you know, <laughs> people when they first discovered me were kind of like, oh, Giga Chad. This, this is not Giga Chad. This is just, this is like a, a Chet at best, <laughs> whatever that means. Um, but you know, maybe people will be like, oh, like 
he doesn't seem that nerdy, but then he's playing a game like this. People can make the same argument about uh, World of Warcraft even. World of Warcraft was super nerdy back in the day. But then you see people like, there's the, the guy I was watching yesterday, Sony, in the uh, Makara tournament. Anyways, I'm going to be playing a lot more Magic. Coming up next, let's talk about the Makara tournament today.